What is up and welcome back, it's Scovos bringing you another video on Valorant today and in today's video we're going to be going over some weapon information on the guns that you can purchase in game in Valorant. Now some of these weapons have alternate fire modes, the ones who don't may just zoom in or do nothing at all, but the alternate fire modes are crucial knowing when to use them and when to not, and that can turn the tide of battle to your favor when used properly, and in today's video that is what we're going to be focusing on and going over. So to keep this video nice and organized we will be going over the weapons by section, and the first section on this list is going to be sidearms. Now sidearms are arguably one of the most important things to know and understand and should be the first step to understanding weapons in this game in general. Now this sidearm will be what you will primarily use in the first round of each game, and throughout the rest of the game, whether your team is doing good or bad, you will always have a sidearm equipped. So the first weapon on our list under the category of sidearms is going to be the classic pistol. The classic pistol is exactly what you would imagine it would be, a standard pistol that's semi-automatic and can shoot up to 6.75 rounds per second. Now this weapon does have an alternate fire mode, which is a 3 round burst, and it's more like 3 shots at the same time, similar to something like a shotgun. Now in most situations, the alternate fire of this weapon is probably not worth using, or almost at all, especially since there's a pretty significant delay after using the alternate fire mode. Now technically this shoots more rounds per second than the standard fire, but you don't really have full control over those bullets because there is that spread and extra bloom that kicks with the weapon. But something that you can do and put to good use is there is no delay after the primary standard fire of this weapon. So you could shoot one or two bullets and then right click for the alternate fire shooting three more. So at close to medium range, this could turn the tide of battle because in the time it takes to shoot three bullets, you already have shot five with the first two being primary and the third click being the alternate fire round. So five bullets in the very first round of Valorant, if you manage to land all of those, can kill somebody pretty easily, especially if one or two of those bullets lands on the head. And for any Counter-Strike pros watching this video, left clicking is probably going to be your best friend. Since you can land those headshots, headshots are way more important than three random bullets that may or may not hit their body, legs, or not at all. But for somebody like me who may not always land headshots or shots in general, right clicking in a fast, close quarters battle may be my best friend. So the other weapons under the sidearm category include the Shorty A Sawn-Off Double Barrel Shotgun, the Frenzy which is a full auto machine pistol, the Ghost A Silenced Semi-Auto Pistol, and the Sheriff which is a high caliber high damage revolver. Now these four sidearms may not have an alternate fire, but there is definitely useful information under the weapon information to the right hand side of the screen. It's going to tell you whether they're semi-automatic, full automatic, or burst fire, how many rounds per second they shoot, how much damage it does to the body, legs, and headshot, as well as when the damage drops off after a certain amount of meters, the magazine capacity, and wall penetration. Wall penetration is much more important than you may think, with some map knowledge, Understanding the enemy and where they can and can't go, shooting through walls can definitely get you some kills. So the next category we're going to be moving into is SMGs or submachine guns, and the first one under this list is the Stinger. Now the Stinger has the fastest fire rate in the game, currently at 18 rounds per second. The alternate fire of this mode is going to be a 1.15 times zoom with a 4 round burst and spread reduction. Now this greatly lowers the fire rate to 4 rounds per second. So with the Stinger's alternate fire mode lowering the rounds per second dramatically and only allowing you a 4 round burst is probably not very beneficial and will only really come in handy at mid to long range engagements, but with an SMG you really shouldn't be trying to fight people at a distance, you need to close the gap and especially with the Stinger take advantage of that really high primary fire rate. It will melt enemies up close and you'll be able to get much more bullets off way faster than any other gun in this game. The next weapon on our list under SMGs is going to be the silenced submachine gun the Spectre. This weapon is fully automatic with 13 rounds per second, the alternate fire is going to be a zoom mode with a slight spread reduction and slight fire rate decrease. The body shot damage is very comparable to the Stinger, but the headshot damage of this weapon is significantly more. It also has a larger magazine size and more wall penetration than the Stinger does. 
So the next category we have is the shotguns, and there are two under this category, the first one being a semi-automatic pump-action shotgun, the Bucky. Now the Bucky's primary fire is exactly what you would imagine at 1.1 rounds per second. The alternate fire is very interesting and honestly pretty fun to use. It's basically an air burst round, so it has the same fire rate, but the shell doesn't explode until a few meters in front of you. If you're within that few meters, the weapon will do zero damage. But, this allows the pellets in the gun to be much tighter grouped, allowing you to deal significant damage in medium range engagements. The other weapon under the shotgun list is the Judge, which is a fully automatic drum shotgun with 7 rounds in its magazine. This weapon does not have an alternate fire, but does have a very high fire rate of 3.5 rounds. The next category we have is rifles. We have four weapons under this category. First up, we have the Bulldog, which is fully automatic until you're zoomed in. While you're zoomed, it is going to be a three round burst. Next is the Guardian, which is the highest damage per shot assault rifle, but it is semi-automatic and remains semi-automatic while you're zoomed in with a 1.5 time zoom. So it's slightly more than the other assault rifles. The Phantom is going to be the silenced assault rifle with a larger damage drop off than the others. But while you're zoomed in, it's going to have a slightly reduced fire rate and slight spread reduction. The Vandal is the fourth and final assault rifle, which is a very high damage fully automatic weapon with an alternate fire being a slightly reduced fire rate and slight spread reduction. So next up we have the two sniper rifles. We have the Marshal and Operator. Both are semi-automatic and both alternate fires will be looking through the sniper scope. Now the Operator has two different zoom levels and it doesn't tell you this, but the Marshal has a very close hip fire accuracy. So last but not least, we have the two heavy weapons. Both of these weapons will have a very large magazine capacity, both will be fully automatic, and both will feature a zoomed alternate fire mode with a slight spread reduction. So I know this game is still in closed beta, but if you're one of the lucky few who managed to get a beta drop from one of the Twitch streams, I really want to hear your thoughts and opinions on all of these weapons. What's your favorite weapons to use, least favorite, and are any of the weapons overpowered or underpowered? What would you change about them? Personally, I had a lot of fun using the Bucky's alternate fire air burst round. That weapon is devastating at medium range, and if you're low on funds can be a great alternative, especially on defense. And if this video helps you out in any way, please consider clicking that subscribe button. It really does help me out a lot. And if you like this video in particular, you can click the thumbs up as well. If you didn't like it, you're also more than welcome to click the thumbs down. But whether you did click or didn't click anything that I mentioned, I still hope you have a good evening, morning, afternoon, night, or whatever it is, wherever you are. But thank you for stopping by, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.